Hello, everybody. It's Jochen Haydn, and I'm back with the Macho vs. Haydn campaign. This is January 5th, 1942. Okay, we grab a base on Samar. Okay, looks like we're sweeping up the rest of these mines at this base just south of uh, Singapore, Tanjung Penang. Hey, look what I caught. I decided I'd bring in some big guns into Batavia this turn. Uh, I was trying for a, a bombardment. However, I don't mind shooting up a few more destroyers while we come in. So let's see how this goes. One of these looks pretty good. I'm not sure what that is. The ISIS. Yes, that's a good destroyer. I wouldn't mind killing that. If we can land a destroyer or our battleship shell on one of these things, it's going to vaporize it. Okay, first sit on the books. That's what we need to slow it down so it can't get away. What I'm hoping here is that my battleships don't disengage and leave, that they stay in the hex and continue the bombardment mission. I believe that they will. Yeah, the ISIS is definitely the biggest threat here. I want that thing taken down first. thousand yards come on let's get a let's get a long lance into one of these guys yeah we're using up a lot more ammunition than I would like for this I think they're going to get away. Mm, okay, there we go. That's another hit on the ISIS. At least my guys are targeting the right target today. Bulmer. Oh, we hit this ship last turn in port. So apparently the massive explosion. Ooh, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. We just put a 14-inch shell into the ISIS. That thing is basically dead now. That's finished. Okay. <laughs> that ain't getting away. Um, we hit the Bulmer with the bomb last turn, and it said massive explosion. But that doesn't look like massive damage to me. So those flavor messages in the bombing raids were probably not, you know, that trustworthy. Okay, I think we're going to have this in hand, so let's go ahead and fast forward now and resolve it, because I want to see what happens here. We could be here all night watching this otherwise. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, that went pretty dang good. So, the ISIS did sink. That is the most important target here. It's the most capable of all these destroyers. Now let's hope the bombardment goes down. Ah. <sighs> We're still dealing with these subs. Ugh. Cannot get away from them fast enough. That's the third day in a row that we've dealt with a tuna, I think. So hopefully it's running out of torpedoes here. I just can't seem to get away from these subs fast enough. Ooh, okay. B-17's coming out of Batavia. That's pretty bold. I'm surprised that he would even try that. But he hit something. And... Okay. 
I find this to be an incredibly poor waste of or use of these B-17s right now. But, you know, that's what he wants to do. <laughs> He's just wasting them. And by the way, he is breaking our rules. I said 85% moonlight, it's 82. But I'm not going to make a big deal out of it. Especially if I'm going to kill him with flak. Yeah, completely inconsequential, and all he's doing is wasting these these things. Oh, look who else came out to play. I'll take this too. See you later, Marblehead. You're finished. <laughs> we may not get our bombardment off, but if we end up cl cleaning this thing up, that's the ultimate revenge. I was kind of hoping for it anyway. The Marblehead is going to have a much harder time getting away than the Destroyers did. There you go. It's That's about it, yeah. That's a 14-inch shell hit that just hit that thing. Oh, heh. <laughs> Good night, Marblehead. You're done. Oh, the ultimate revenge. I got it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, that is such sweet revenge. I've wanted that Marblehead dead. For like two weeks now, since it went up and shot up a bunch of my ships near um, uh, Mare Singh and Singapore, I finally caught up to it and it is gone. Okay, I have no idea if we're going to get a bombardment off at this point. Never mind, we did. So I'm hoping we can kill some aircraft here too, now that I know his B-17s are in here. Um... We may get a chance to, you know, kill some of those on the ground because he, I don't think he saw this coming. So let's see how this goes. Oh, oh, mm. Mm. <laughs> there we go. B 17 is destroyed on the ground. Oh, this is this is sensational. Look at these aircraft destroyed. Casualties inflicted. Look at these uh, non-combat units destroyed here. Base destroyed. Murdered. So, a fantastic bombardment. Definitely worth the ammo. Killed a bunch of aircraft. We ended up also killing the Marblehead and the Isis. So, this was a huge win. Glad I called it. Yeah, we brought the big guns out for this one. And they, they came through big time for me. Okay. I thought I was done unloading at Mataram. We need to be done. Because I need I need the uh, I need to get those ships out of there before the enemy aircraft show up. Okay, let's see if we get any more naval activity. Hmm. Just Dutch subs doing Dutch sub Dutch sub stuff there, Kendari. I don't mind them shooting at sub chasers because they just waste um, ammunition. Unfortunately, he is in deep water, so it doesn't look like my puny little Type 95s are going to reach to him. But he did waste some ammunition, so that's fine. Two torpedo shot. Oh, I, apparently we did get a hit. I didn't think we would. Oh! Oh! Bonus! Yeah! <laughs> nice. Ooh, I think that should sink that. Let's listen. Yes! Oh, yeah! Good shot, I-171.
A lot of ships at Tejilla Jap. You see that? I wonder what that's all about. He's probably just evacuating stuff off the island. Oh, man. A lot of canceled missions. All right, we're sweeping over Bactavia, but there's no real point because um, I think we basically destroyed the aircraft there. Okay. We're sweeping over um, Ankang because I'm going to be bombing there. I'm hoping to catch some damaged ABG aircraft in the base. Okay, so my nails are coming in for a port strike here, but I don't think we're going to get anything. Oh, I lied. We do. There's still ships here. I was trying to get the marble hit again, but what he did was he put it in a task force to evacuate it, but my bombardment task force came in at just the right time and, um, you know, basically killed them as they were leaving port. All right. So this was kind of a, a waste of a, of a port strike. We did kill one of his uh, coastal minesweepers, though, so that's not too bad. And another wave is coming in. Again, I was something the Marblehead, which I thought was too damaged to leave port. Apparently not. And we don't get much out of that. That's okay. Mission was accomplished either way. And again, I'm sweeping Batavia because I thought that, you know, I didn't think the bombardment, I didn't know if it was going to work or not, so. Okay. This is a big bombing raid on... And King, I'm hoping that we catch some aircraft on the ground. Let's see. Yes. Uh, it, yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Man, I'm able to read this guy so well right now. And just as I thought, his flying tigers that were disabled from yesterday's air combat around here were stuck on the field. And this is the danger that you face when you... Uh, operate aircraft out of remote bases like this. There's no rail connection here. So if they're damaged, they can't fly again until you fix them. And I knew that that would happen. So I bombed the airfield to hope to catch them on the ground. And it, and it looks like we did. And we basically decimated the airfield. So far, this is going exactly to plan. All right, here we go. Another raid. And we destroy more aircraft and damage the base again. So... We've really taken a toll on the ABG over the last couple turns. Okay, clear sky over um, Palembang. We should get some great hits today. Well, they're not great hits, they're hits. Uh, we're taking a lot of flack right now from um, from Palembang. We do destroy one blem on the ground and do some damage to the base, but not enough. I'm having a good turn so far, um, and all the naval threats, with the exception of some subs, is more or less over. So none of his surface ships are going to hurt me this turn. Okay. Very nice showing at Baton today. We have to put damage on this airfield. Yes, that's what I need right there. All right, I'm pretty sure we basically killed every one of the AVG aircraft left there. There's probably not even alive anymore. Oh, oh, hi, hi Swordfish. Glad you decided to show up. I got a little something for you. These are clods, and I know they're clods, and I, I don't mind, because I knew that the enemy air threat would be diminished around here right now, so I'm okay using these guys for cap, because there's really nothing much left he's got um, that's going to hurt us out here, I don't think, and the clods are good enough.
There, see you go. They're good enough for a swordfish. I actually hope we get more activity. Although, after that bombardment at Batavia, I don't think we will. Okay. Um, this is... Oh! Oh, I'd love to hit that with that. Yes! Oh! Oh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Okay, that's fine. I'll take Enterprise with one torpedo. We did hit this one yesterday. Remember our, our big um, cruiser engagement near near Merak. Um, it looks like he brought them down to Simmering. I have no idea why he didn't try to get them out further. And we just hit it with a torpedo, so that's even more damage. I don't know if it'll sink. We'll, we'll try. We'll listen for it. If we hear anything sink this turn, it's probably that. Okay, what a fantastic AM phase. Everything went according to plan. Perfect, perfect, perfect. With the exception of one attack, and we'll see if we get a second try at it today. Probably not. Oh, ooh, ooh, this could be bad. <laughs> this is a substantially heavier escorted raid, and they're coming out of, um, what is this? Bandung. Let's see how my clouds can do against these guys. I have no idea how this is going to go. I would assume good, because they're good pilots, but the aircraft is not so great. Ooh, this could be bad, actually. I didn't... I didn't think about, um, Bandung. <laughs> Elements break off the attack, cowards. Okay, now I'm a little more concerned about my decision to operate the Claws and Cap. I... I I didn't even factor in the Bandung contingent of bombers. That could be a problem. I honestly don't even know how clouds perform against uh, these Dutch buffaloes. It's the first time I've ever seen this kind of engagement because my only other experience playing Japan was with Scenario 2. And by this time in the campaign, because of how many zeros you get, I had mini Kido Butai fully equipped with zeros, uh, you know, by this point. I didn't have any clods, so this is going to be kind of telling for me how this works. So far, it looks good. What is concerning going forward is if there's any follow-on attacks, my cap is going to basically be... Um, depleted here. Yeah, we're kind of running out of, uh, we're running out of aircraft here. We need to get into those short swordfish like right now. Good. Hopefully we get into the swordfish.
Okay, now we got now we got some guys. Nope. Dang it. How many aircraft does he have? Um, we may run out of uh We might start running out of aircraft here before we get into the swordfish at this rate. starting to think that um, we're not going to get to the swordfish we're going to have to deal with the with flak yeah we're not going to we're not going to have enough cap to get to them at this rate oh yeah we're in, we're in big trouble now oh yeah yeah we're in big trouble Yep, he's gonna get through. He just seems to have an unlimited amount of uh, of fighters to throw into this. Ah, oh, crap! All right, they got through. So let's hope my flat can handle this. And they're dropping bombs. What? <laughs> they're dropping bombs. Okay, never mind. All right, let's fast forward through this and see if we get any more else. Hmm. Well, one Claude confirmed destroyed. We did kill several of his stuff. Uh, and he's dropping bombs from 10,000 feet? What? Hmm. This looks to me like he forgot to change something. Because this makes no sense. This is a waste of swordfish. Well, the clouds squeak through, but just barely, so I don't think I want to use those guys for cap much longer. Okay, let's hope we can get another uh, attempt at the Enterprise today. Okay, Cape Town. Okay, torpedo into Cape Town. That's going to slow it down. And that thing is dead now. Okay, Cape Town is done for. I want to see the Enterprise again. Let's get something into that. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, I thank goodness. Thank goodness. Thank you, Minikitabu Type, for coming through for me. So the Enterprise and the Cape Town are sunk. Those are two more cruisers that were... Uh, engaged yesterday. They're gone. So now I think it's just a Caledon that's left out of that initial engagement yesterday. So I am very happy with that. It doesn't get any better. That's amazing. Mm. I'm going to clap a little bit. This went so good today. Okay, land combat. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. I'm going for it today, guys. I'm going for a shock attack here. Um, I'm using all my tanks on shock, and the divisions, infantry divisions, are going in deliberate. I'm hoping we can damage him badly here and push him into Sion completely depleted. Wish me luck. Let's go. Oh, we got it. Guys, we got it. We pushed him. It worked. We pushed him out. Oh, awesome. We damaged all these guys before they could get out of the hex. Oh, that was really good. Two to one odds. Extremely acceptable casualty rate here. Look at this trade, guys. <gasps> oh, was he in the wrong op mode? No, he wasn't in the wrong op mode, but we shocked him with the tanks, right? And then the infantry just went in deliberate, and look what we got out of this. We completely pushed him out of this hex, and on top of that, all these units retreated into Sion, severely depleted. This was a fantastic attack. I saw, I felt like it was time to push the button on it, and we went for it. 
and it could not have gone better. Look at this trade. Really good. Oh, man. We're going to push for Sion so hard right now. Okay. Deliberate attack here. I am pretty sure this is clear terrain, and we can push these guys off with just this one division. Nine to one. There you go. Okay. So a great result there as well on the road towards Ankang. We pushed him into more clear terrain. No casualties, but a lot for him. So another good showing on the ground. Sensational. Ooh, this won't be pretty. I kind of thought that it would have a little different uh, mix here. Yeah, that one didn't go so well. Okay, let me rephrase. It didn't go as good as it could have gone. Um, but we still inflict more casualties. And we don't take any destroyed squads. Which means we can recover this. So this isn't... This isn't that bad. This could have been worse. We, we dodged a bullet on this one. Okay. For the third time today. Fourth time or whatever it is. I'm going for it. And this time I'm shock attacking with the infantry regiment. I want to finish these guys off. They've got to die now. I can't believe it! I don't get it. I don't get it. This is the fourth day now. A shock attack. 17 to 1 odds. And this unit still won't die. I literally don't know what else to do here. I don't know what else to do. How are they hanging on? Okay. Bombardment attack. This ain't going to be pretty, I'm sure. Hmm. Right. Mm. About the same. Okay. That, that's an even trade today. Okay. And a shock attack again. I'm trying to clear this dang rail line out. These guys gotta go. Thank you. Thank you. Third day now. Okay. The Lusu War area has been destroyed. That's one less partisan unit on the rail lines in China, which has really been causing me issues. Okay. Allies bombarding Sin Kuang, but they're completely uh, depleted here. Okay. And the Allies are bombarding at Taiyun. Alright, and I'm just cleaning up some bases out here in Sopak right now. Alright. Ooh! Ooh, this is not gonna work. I thought they had a lot less guys here. There's no way we're gonna take this, right? No way! Are you serious? Huh. I didn't think that was gonna work. What the heck? So I shock attacked here. I thought he had way less troops than that, but that's double the AV, but we get four to one odds. Uh, that's a Gary Grigsby dice roll from heaven. I don't know how else to explain that one. Because this is jungle terrain with a fort with double the AV. And we still get it. Thank you, Gary Grigsby, for your beautiful dice today. You're amazing. This turn is blessed. I don't know what else to say. This is... Wow. Wow. What what can I say, guys? I'm I'm speechless. This was a turn that really could not have gone any better. So I'm gonna pause real quick and get up my stuff so we can take a look at what happened here, because this was fantastic. Alright, hold on. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm expecting some good stuff today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, aircraft losses today. 37 for him, 7 for us. He lost basically the rest of the AVG guys that were in uh, Ankang. Those are destroyed on the ground today. 
and a number of aircraft destroyed on the ground due to my bombardment at Batavia, which went off without a hitch, and it actually like, killed more stuff than I ever could have imagined. As far as our losses today, we lost three Lilies to Ops. That's not great. Um, one Sally, one Kate, one zero one Claude. Really, other than the Lilies, which I don't have a lot of, these are very acceptable losses for what we've been doing today. All right. Um, Army lost points for this turn. Let's take a look at Tracker. Let's see what it's got to say about that. If you look on the screen here at Tracker, uh, I'll scroll over and right here, we gained, we lost four army loss points today with that big attack uh, south of Sion. And he lost about 130, 130 army loss points. Not bad. Since we're in here, uh, we're talking about ship losses. Tracker thinks that he's lost 274 ships so far, which, you know, I, I believe it. We're darn near close to that with all the ships we've sunk in the last few days. We haven't lost a ship in three days now. So... The game is reporting less than this, but this is what Tracker leaning forward thinks. This number can be uh, adjusted later on as we get ops reports that contradict it, but uh, this usually leans forward more than the than the uh, Intel screen is. And there you go. We gained another 353 points today. Our win ratio is up to 1.828. This is really good, I think, for where we're at in the campaign right now. This is a very good uh, win ratio to be at in January 6th. All right, let's go back to the game window. As you can see here, uh, the game is only reporting 261, but Tracker thinks it's 274. And of course, you've already seen the score. Also note that the Manchuko Garrison, I did, a, I did a lot of math and I got it down to just the minimum we need. And we're gaining about 15 a day with all the other units that are left healing up and building up. So I'm going to continue pulling units out of here and flirting at this limit of 8,000. I don't want to dip below it. But I want every little thing I can get out of uh, Quang Tung into China. So there you go. Let's go around the map real quick, uh, briefly. In China, we had a very good day. We defeated him in this hex and pushed him into more clear terrain here. Uh, we defeated him in south of Xi'an, which is fantastic because if we're going to win in this hex and secure it, we want to do it in this times three terrain and hold that hex because now. Um, we have full hexide control, and when we go into Sion, no matter how many troops he has there, we will have the advantage because, uh, we one, we depleted a lot of them in this, with this attack here, and two, we're fighting him on clear terrain with the base that's damaged, so his forts are going to be almost nothing. We're now converging on him with uh, a combination of 2150 AV here and 1600 there. So we're looking at 37, 3600 AV in Sion. There's nothing he's got over here that can stop that. So within four turns, I estimate, Sion will be ours. We'll be in there in two. We attack on three. We may need a second attack, depending on what's left. But yeah, this is we're about to blow through Sion like a hot knife through butter. Uh, elsewhere, it looks like he moved back into Nanning, but I think the only unit that I saw here last turn was in this hex. And if we look at the little... Yeah, there was a 2,000 um, man, I think it was a base force. So we're coming in with two uh, mixed, brig a mixed brigade and a regiment. We're going to shock attack across the river next turn. We should take this base with no effort, hopefully capture some aircraft damage on the ground, and push this unit out. And then we have Nanning. So that's great. Uh, <laughs> really good. Let's press on over here to uh, Burma. We're moving for Rangoon right now. If we look at this, my armor is heading up the road to start taking Tungu, and the bulk of my infantry is moving into Rangoon because they have a, a fair amount of engineers with them. And I want those engineers in place to basically um, rebuild the base quickly. I'm going to move aircraft in here to keep him from bombing it because I know the Allies love to bomb the refineries the, the day you capture it. So I'm going to try to prevent him from doing so. Okay. Uh, down here at Singapore, uh, I have some great news here. A couple more divisions have just showed up. So if we look at just infantry, the 4th Division is not here yet, but the... I think it's the 33rd? Yes, the 33rd is landing right now. 
and that one is fully intact. So what we're going to do is put these guys into rest mode because they don't need to be in strat mode right now. Initially, they were in strat mode because I was going to come here and Singora and whale them down because the, it was a bit spicier down here than it is now. But that has subsided. So that puts us at, oh, geez, a substantial amount of AV in here. My other divisions that are damaged are healing up very quickly. And the last division we're waiting on right now is the 4th Division, which unfortunately is beat up pretty bad. It may or may not be able to partake in the invasion of Palambang, just due to the amount of disablements and lost units. So either way, these guys are heading into Singapore. They'll be there next turn, and they can start repairing. And then we can really start planning the invasion of Palambang. All right, uh, down here at Batavia and Java area, what I, I don't even know what to say, but phenomenal. Um... Somehow he's still got two sort of ships in port. I'm not going to bother with those anymore. Our bombardment force, which is basically here, came in, uh, bobbed and weep through whatever minefield he supposedly may have had here. I don't even know if we even detected one. Uh, we shot up the ISIS, the Marblehead, and blew the base up, took out tons of aircraft on the ground, damaged the airfield. So Batavia is under serious threat now. And we also cleared out about 600 troops. Just a sensational bombing. I want to start shuttle bombarding this place because, you know, why not? It's that um, susceptible to it. The only real risk we have now is bombers out of Bandung, of which there are a fair amount, and bombers out of Surabaya, of which there's a, a lot. So we need to be careful about that. But otherwise, um, we're really doing a great job neutralizing stuff. We caught the enemy cruiser stuff over here this turn. It looks like he's got some other sort of activity at Tajilat Jap. Probably just pulling out fuel is my guess. Fuel or oil or both. Um, but I don't know if I want to bring Mini KB much closer into here unless we go full cap trap mode. I may actually do that, guys. I might just kind of bring it over here and bait out his aircraft and just put all of my fighters on cap just to see what happens. Uh, I, I think I might be willing to go ahead and, and take that risk because as far as combat power out here, he doesn't really have much left. We've killed so much. So many cruisers, so many destroyers. I don't think he's got any kind of ships that can come at it. So it's just a matter of, you know, baiting out his aircraft and, and killing them in a, a barrage of zeros and clods. We got the the Battle of the Century, the luckiest battle dice roll I've ever seen in a Gary Grigsby game for myself is us taking Mataram. And let's look at Combat Reporter real quick. Let me bring that up on the screen. Let's look at that ground combat at Mataram. What in the world is this? I have never seen this. Uh, 18 AV assaulting 36 on a shock attack against a fort level of 1. And somehow we take it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't even understand how this how this result occurred. But we got it. We secured this base. This unit is no longer a threat. And we can start leapfrogging to Eden Pesar and set up a long-range cap base here to start um, dealing with Surabaya. So really, a, a great result in the Dutch East Indies this turn because of this insane attack that Gary Grigsby gifted me with um, who knows why. On paper, this should have never worked out the way that it did. Okay, back in the Dutch East Indies, I don't know what's going on here, but I do see a diminishing sub-threat. We see a lot less of them right now, and I know I don't think it's... I don't know why. Maybe it's because my ASW didn't fly. No, it's because my ASW didn't fly. I had them on a port strike, but because of bad weather, they got canceled. We'll try again tomorrow, because I do see some juicy stuff in Surabaya that I would love to try to kill while it's stationary. But uh, I was talking to some guys in my Discord, and I was talking about how tentative I've been about moving ships through here and in my fuel situation because my AO was killed. And basically, they're telling me, you, you got to pay to win, pay to play, rather. And if I don't risk ships, I'm never going to get the result that I want. So I need to man up, load some tankers, get them into Makassar, and just deal with it. And if I lose them, I lose them. If I don't, I don't. But just sitting here waiting for something to change is not going to help me. So I'm going to load up some tankers and try to get them into Makassar to restore our fuel situation 
and just move on because I, I can't sit here waiting for a miracle. It's just not going to happen. These subs are going nowhere for the time being. Okay, Solomon's, nothing to report. Australia, I hope we finally broke contact with the bulk of his stupid uh, submarines. Kido Batai is done retreating, and now I need to decide what I want to do with it because I'm not too thrilled about the aircraft we lost. So I need to kind of come up with a plan and decide what I want to do with this carrier task force right now because I think strap bombing in Australia is probably out of the picture with with the arrival of his fighters and the sub threat being what it is. So what do I do with Kido Butai now? Uh, if you have some suggestions, put them in the comments. I'll listen to them. Uh, I, I, I haven't fully decided on it myself yet, but we got to do something. We can't just sit idle. Anyway, that's the turn. It went really, really good. Uh, the turn production may slow down over the next few days. Poor Macho is sick. He's ill and he's not feeling great. So it's probably not going to get the quick turnaround that I normally do from him. So in the meantime, I'm going to work on some more tutorials and other stuff like that to keep you guys entertained. And I want to thank you guys for watching. If you really like what I'm doing here, consider liking the uh, video and subscribing. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I appreciate you watching either way. I'll catch you on the next one.